Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 42 of Let's Play um, Elder King's Mod. Let's uh, put a vassal in his place here. So, where we left off last, we were... Oh, my daughter came of age. That's fine. Don't care. <coughs> At least not right now. Yeah, so this guy is uh, he is a patrician, and he's just causing problems. There may have been a faction or two. My, my father, a, mo a moment ago, couldn't seem to handle it. But I'll be able to handle it okay. In fact, what is this war that we're in right now? It is the Governor Ushiha of Black Rose Civil War to Lower Crown Authority. Alright. My lord, the keep hath fallen. Okay. So we gain two prestige. Or we can say another banner. That'll piss off this guy. I'll just do that one. So maybe this is coming up. These are different than ones I've seen before. Is it because I'm actually leading the army? No. Yeah, I am. Leading troops in Shade Marsh. Okay. Do you want to take everyone along with us? Yeah, of course. Never resist the opportunity to make some money. Apparently we have uh, a little bit of a, a battle going on here. It looks like Archean is actually attacking the governor while he's rebelling. Looks like the entire family. <laughs> wow, that's a big family. 14 prisoners right now. We're going to ransom them all. Wow, that's awesome. You, you take over a public and you get all of the patricians and stuff. Look at that. It's crazy. I'm going to get tons of money for this. Thank you so much for rebelling, dude. I love you. You rock. And they all want to be sent home. Of course you do. Oh, you're already ready, already willing to surrender, huh? Let me ransom a few people back to you again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No, we're not going to take a white piece. We want surrender. <coughs> money, money, money. Money? More money? Money. Uh, yeah. Um, apparently he has a prisoner. Um, I don't want to lose ambitious or diligent, so I can't even read all of this tooltip. But whomever these people are, they smell like they... Let's... Yeah. I don't know. We'll do that one. So many people... Look at all this money. We have a thousand gold now. It's crazy. Meanwhile, up in Morrowind, let's see what's going on up there. Looks like the capital of Morrowind may have moved. Where is it? It's here. There we go. That's weird. So he actually, he, his primary title is a bishopric. That's kind of weird. Well, he obviously doesn't like me. How do your vassals feel about you? Wow, they love you. Fought for as a claimant. So they... Oh, they did have a war and I missed it. 
plus 650, that seems a bit excessive, don't you think? Wow. So everyone thinks he's awesome. We're gonna have to murder him soon. He's in the Mercantile Association Embargo War. Hmm. Well, we'll continue to cause problems for them after we uh, have all this money. Okay, it looks like these guys are pretty much pretty much out of money. Oh wow, Queen Dish has managed to effect an escape. Weird. That's new. Stop trying to plot to take my stuff, please. Really. It's the second time I've had to tell you to stop doing that. Um, apparently it's just the one guy, so we'll take him. Keep her somebody. And this is actually the army of Archean, but we should probably prevent them from stealing Mir Hall from our vassal. Oh, and actually, we're already 100%. So my roots may be Patru, but I identify more with the Sarpa people I rule. All right, so because I am Patru, but my capital is up here where the culture is Sarpa, I have the opportunity to convert to the Sarpa culture. <coughs> I can choose, basically. Let's take a look at the culture. Um, it's mostly Patru. We've got small, small amounts of Sarpa, a little bit of Naga, Archean and Agasef over to the sides. I think we're going to stick with Petru. Um, that'd piss off tons of people, but staying Petru is, is going to not piss anyone off. So let's go ahead and force this war. Um, we gain some prestige. He goes in prison. That means that we can probably ransom him to himself again, get some more gold, because, you know, we don't have enough of that. And, of course, he's not going to like me, but I did crush a major revolt, and as soon as he gets out of prison... Um, he'll like me at least a little bit. Maybe. Restricted trade seems to be pissing them off. I, I wonder if... Um oh, excellent. Perfect. Well, let's raise crown authority in... Uh, soul rest. And then we'll be able to change that to primogenitor as well. Dangerous factions. They're not that strong. Majority of the population of Hellstrom. Good, 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 good. So we're continuing to convert. The Hist religion is spreading. This courtier. Uh, yeah, sure, let's make a move. I don't, I don't know, do I have a kid? Do I have an heir? I do. Prince Gilas. He's four. Apparently my only one, though, so let's try to make another. Why not? Gave her a good tumble. And you then, sir, would you accept vassalization? No. Can I declare war on you? I can, on behalf of my chancellor. He is the chieftain of Archon, who is apparently a vassal. He is my vassal. I can take over part of that land. Let's go ahead and claim Bog Wraith on behalf of my Chancellor. And in the meantime, I know I keep saying I'm going to do it soon, but um, I need to get one more holding in this kingdom here to usurp this kingdom title, so I should probably focus on this guy. <coughs> but I keep keep getting distracted by the easy pickings of this weakened Archean guy. And I've got all this money that I've been stockpiling. I should probably do something with it. Let's get a round of upgrades going across our holdings. How about... We'll go with the smallest thing that's going to give us some more men. Yeah, some like cavalry sounds good. We're building during war, which isn't smart, but that's okay. 22 men. I'll take the heavy infantry. Heavy infantry. Let's 
stable. There we go. We got them all building. And we still have too much money, so... Do any of these places require a city? They do. And in fact, it looks like there is no restriction. I could just build another fort. But I like cities. Generally, what I do when I'm playing in regular Crusader Kings 2 is I'm playing along a coast. I like to build extra cities with any spare holdings. And on the inner, <coughs> on the inside of the realm, non-coastal provinces, I like to build extra castles. So considering I could build another fort, or, you know, another city, um, that's kind of cool. I like that there's no restriction. Regular Crusader Kings 2 makes you have one of each before you can build any more of one. Hmm. What to build? Well, I suppose city the city retinue is or the city army is terrible, but they have more far superior income. And they also increase technology growth rate. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with castles. Let's build a castle in here. Let's just get another castle going. I was under the impression you had to have one of each still, so I was completely disregarding the opportunity to do something else. My steward is dead. And I've inherited some land from her. And probably some money. Yeah, money too. Well, you know what we need <laughs> is another castle. Uh, geez, uh, let's go with uh, castle... No, these are coastal. Let's build another castle here. And I wish I could hold on to this land. Is my wife like an idiot? Why am I married to my cousin? How did that happen? What, on, what did I do? Did I do that earlier? Did I was I ignoring it earlier when I was playing a previous character? Are they all like retarded inbred people? Is my son an inbred? Apparently not. My cousin, I can't divorce her. I can't believe I'm married to my cousin. That's sick. Um she's actually got really high stewardship, so it's not a stewardship issue. It's probably just because I've got the uh no legalism, and you know, it's just it's tough. Speaking of legalism, let's see how technology's going. Um, the realm, this is showing the average now, so average progress is uh, highest levels 0 0.6, 0 0.14 average. Legalism, highest levels 0 0.5. Let's look at, uh, well, first off, we got to get this focused the right way again. Yeah, nobody has any legalism anywhere. If we look at the technology map mode, I don't think anyone has even a single point of technology anywhere on the map. Nowhere yet. We've been playing for forever. Okay. Um, <coughs> apparently our capital's up here now, so might as well keep focusing on that. I really don't want to get rid of any of this land. It's all so nice and pretty, and I'm building a new castle there, and this one makes 11 gold a year. Can't afford to get rid of that one. Or that one. Or that one, or that one. Oh, fine. I guess if I had to get rid of something, it'd probably be this, even though I've upgraded the town a couple times. All right, well, let's find an old person that has no kids. Let's sort by stewardship in the realm. And actually, can I grant land to women? No. Okay, fine. Let's look for men then. We'll actually sort by age and then just find somebody with high stewardship. So this guy, <coughs> he does have a kid, so no. How about this guy? Got a kid. Kid, kid. Here we go. 52 year old with no wife, no kids. Here. You can have my K 
community of shadow light. And I'm going to marry you to a woman who is old. Hopefully you'll... Probably should have done this before I gave him the land. Oops. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. What if I pick like someone who's just almost too old, like 44? You. Arrange marriage to... Alright, that's not the right way to do it. i got to do it from this guy's screen. I want you to marry my... Sure, my 46-year-old woman. Won't accept. Past childbearing age. Okay, how about my... Uh, 35. Still pretty young. Do I have a Breton or something somewhere that I can marry him? <laughs> Let's marry him interracially. I think I do have a Breton. No, that was a man, actually. Just searching right now, looking for the religion, or the race, rather. What if we do this? Search by not my culture. There we go. Give you a 22-year-old Breton woman. All right, come on now. You arrange marriage. Marry my Breton. It is Drag Draskan. Sort by name. Let's find Draskan. Yes. See, you'll foolishly accept, even though she's a Breton. A group of normally docile giants have become a problem in Chase Point. Their numbers have increased in size, and their normal hunter-gatherer and mammoth domestication methods are insufficient to feed their population. As a result, they have begun attacking our outlying farms and harassing caravans passing along our main route. Okay, that sucks. Let's wait till that guy gets that marriage exception. So now, interracial marriage, they'll never have kids, and, uh... Ugh. It's not working. He's got a sibling. You need to die. <laughs> All that planning didn't work. Oh well. Okay, in the next episode, we'll get rid of one more territory, and then eventually we will create the... Actually, let's just hold on to that territory and try to create the Empire of Argonia. That would raise our level by one, and we could probably have six, six titles. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.